What is going on everyone? It's Ultimate Spy 53 here and welcome to another episode of Reviewed. This is Reviewed number 81 and today I'm going to be reviewing Princess of Thieves. <laughs> This was a surprisingly good movie. Um, I liked the story of it. That was what I would like to say about it. Uh, yeah, the title of it actually made sense. Princess of Thieves. I mean, what, would you, what else would you call it? <laughs> um, and it is a very different story because it kind of explores what happens after Robin Hood gets married to Mary Marion in the uh, folklore of the Robin Hood uh, tales. Um, I've, I've seen several of the movies, in fact, I've seen most of the movies, the ones that have been, uh, you know, made, like, I think it was King of Thieves, there was Men in Tight, there was, uh, the animated one with the animals, it kind of explores what happens, or what, ha what, what would happen after Robin Hood gets married, um, and, like, what was her life after that, because, they never really explore it in the aftermath of the movie of the original tale, and this was, the movie was a very interesting um, prospect. In fact, let's see if I can grab it. Uh, let's see what year did it come out? Um, let's see, it doesn't say. But this is just a disc. This is just the disc of the movie, um, but still, it, it's a fairly decent movie and I really liked it um, just just based off of the story of it the story was a very good uh, story um, and it's the d idea of like what happens after you know about Robin Hood and Mary get married like what's I mean like we know what happens after they get married and they have a life but like what is that life and this is pretty much the life that they lead is that you know that it's a future version of Robin Hood where, where he's a daughter and it's a very interesting story. It's, it's really good. I liked it. I really did. Um, it was very enjoyable. Actually, it was shorter than I expected because it, the, the disc. I don't know if you can see this, but um, right here, I have no idea you can if you can see that. But there's a little thing. You can't even see that. But there's a little thing right here that says approximately 90 minutes. It was not 90 minutes. It was an hour and 27 minutes. It was actually one of the shortest movies. Um, recently that I've seen so it, it still it was a good movie I really liked it um, this this was the plot you know you know you get you got you got Gwyn she's the daughter of Robin Hood and she basically you know she hasn't seen her father in five years and so you know just you know going on an adventure and you know discovering all these things about about her family and uh, I think they'll, they'll, we only get two. I think we actually I want to say we get three characters. Um, no, yeah, we get, we get three characters in the original. So we get Robin, we get Will, and we get uh, Fire Tuck. And those are the three characters with the origin in the original tale and also the movies. But but uh, Will Scarlet, he's the only really merry man that really is in the uh, movie. There's no other merry man. Uh, I've not, I haven't seen a lot of the movies, um, but I but I remember them, and so it was really interesting because I'm pretty sure I don't, I don't even know that Will Scarlet's Irish. I think he has, he, I'm pretty sure he's Irish. Um, this is the way he sounds. But overall, I'd say this movie was really well done. I didn't check to see what, what it got run to minutes, but I imagine. Eh, I mean, I don't even know. I, I think it might have come out in. I want to say it came out in 2002. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it did because based off of. Uh, the quality of the film. Now, it's still a very good movie. I, I liked it a lot, um, and it was very interesting because you had kind of. I feel like it had that Mulan vibe where you know a daughter of a character you know wants to disguise disguise herself as a boy to in order to, to you know fit in with with within the crowd, and she's basically you know. I think the idea is that that, uh, that Robin won't let her go on with you know go with him on his on his journey or whatever he, whatever he's doing. I can't remember exactly what, what he's doing, but she wants to go with him and he won't allow it. So basically, she cuts her hair, puts on a you know boy's tunic thing with arrows and everything, and um, basically becomes literally the princess of thieves. So that's the idea of the movie is that she's the pr literally the princess of thieves. Um, 
she's a princess, and because it, it makes sense, because I believe that the idea is that when, once Robin Hood marries Maid Marian, she he becomes a prince. I want I don't even know. I, more like maybe a king. I think that's how it works. I don't know exactly. No, but it was still good. Um, it was also really interesting how the way that that uh, they use transitions. I like that because I uh, I have been looking a lot of uh, you know a lot about that. And, you know the, the way that they movies these days transition. I, I, I think, I'm pretty sure this came out in the early 2000s, but the way the movie transitioned was very interesting because at the very beginning of the movie we have um, we have Gwen being born, and then she's this little cute girl, and then she puts water in her face. She pours water, and she gets her face, and then suddenly she's this this she's got, she's a you know grown by a few years. She's like you know a a, 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 young, a younger. A little, a little bit older, but not not too old. Like I would say, like I don't know, like mm, eight, maybe, maybe something like that. And then we see her later go um, put on a tunic over her uh, head. She puts it on, and then suddenly she's like I don't know, twelve or something. And then the next thing we know is that she, you know, she go she goes to put she I think she goes to put on on a apron or something or whatever it is, and we can't, we can't see your hair, and then it transitions, and then, like, the, the, the transition goes from looking away from her hair to whatever she's putting on, on her, um, whatever outfit she's gonna, she's about to put on, and then we see her next, um, with longer hair, much longer hair, and more, you know, much of a, much bigger body as Karen Knightley, which is right because the movie Sarker is lighting, and, I mean, it's obvious, isn't it, when you first see the, the disc, or the, the movie, you know it's gonna be Karen Knightley, because look at that, that's, that's Karen Knightley. Um, so, honestly, it was very good, casting-wise. I was surprised by it. Um, now, the only actor that I really recognized, um, I, 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 there was, like, two of them that, that I swore I saw from another movie, but I looked it up, and I didn't, apparently there weren't any movie I've seen, but even though I've seen them, I, I recognize, it's like, the way that movies do that too, where, where you'll recognize an actor, and then it's like, well, where have I seen that actor before? Oh, weird. I guess this is the first time I've seen them before, but I, I, I recognize them somehow. It was weird because, um, I think it was Philip who was who was in disguise as Conrad, who was the, um, the, the uh, for, no, the, the Vila, I think, yeah, the Vila of, uh, of, uh, Prince Philip. He was, I think, I think he was, the day he was, he was in disguise, and so he wasn't really... He wasn't really Conrad. He was actually filled in disguise, and that one, that guy, I recognized. But I don't remember where he. Oh, I don't know what he started, in, but I, there's also the, the King Richard. I was that. Yeah, King Richard. I'm pretty sure. Um, he looks so familiar. Like I, I, I swore I saw him in the movie, but apparently I, I looked good and all I know it was nothing there. Um, so that leaves the only actor to. Actually, I think the other only other actor that I recognized was the um, guy who played Fred Fr uh, Frederick, who. I want to say he was in Doctor Who because he looks so familiar. But he was—he looks so familiar. I don't know where I found him from, but he looks so familiar. Um, basically, he's playing this scholar who was like—I think he's a training under monk or something. I don't know, but um, I don't know. He's basically the best friend of uh, Gwyn, and it was very interesting how that—that that, I felt like it was a love triangle because you have Philip who has who. who you know, has a crush on Gwen, um, after, of course, meeting, you know, meeting when she tries to steal his horse, and, of course, they ride together, and then, you know, between, uh, between Roderick, and it's really interesting, uh, but overall, the story is really interesting, I, I did, it was a lot better than, than previous movies that I've seen, um, in terms of, like, you know, fantasy movies, um, in terms of, like, you know, lower budget movies, but it was still a very enjoyable movie, I liked it, you know, it adds some good points of it, um, but overall, I like the, the the plot of it. It was a very interesting plot, just based off of the characters that were established in the movie, um, and it was a very different way of telling a story about Robin Hood, like telling a a Robin Hood tale that was basically after the events of the original tale, which is basically what, what the movie is said, is said to be, like years after the events of the original tale, after they get married. They have a daughter. That's a really. It was a very interesting thing because I don't think it was ever expected. I think this is the first time that was ever explored was in that movie. So it was a very interesting idea, and I liked it a lot. Um, I mean, 
honestly, it was very unique. He had some good stuff in it, and I liked it a lot. Um, it's just seeing Keira Knightley in a role that is not what I what I used to, what I'm used to seeing, and her play a character that's very different, not something we've ever seen before. This is something I really like. I really appreciated about that. Um, about that a lot. Um, because she, I usually see her in like a Pirates of the Caribbean, um, pretty much, and I think a, you know a few others, but not a whole lot of movies. I think she was in Star Wars at one point, but that was only like a, like like a short time. But still, um, I really liked it. Um, surprisingly, it, it surprised me about how good it was. Even though it was pretty short, it was still very good. Um, it wasn't the best movie. Definitely not. No, it's far from the best movie. It, it was well done in terms of the plot, in terms of uh, the casting. Um, I thought the casting was really good. The acting was superb. I mean, I don't really notice acting really. I just noticed it was, you know, good. I mean, I've seen movies that are terrible. Like I've, there was a movie I saw on, on Amazon Prime Video, and it was terrible. The acting was just atrocious, and I could tell they were not doing a good job. But this movie was very good. I, I want to say it did come out it come out in uh, 2004 um, yeah or 20, 2002 2004 one of those one of the two I don't know but still I really liked it it was it was interesting I really liked the plot of it, it was good it's a good plot um, it kind of shows a lot about about you know what could happen like a what if a what if kind of thing because you have I feel like it was a similar nod to Mulan, where, where you know you know you have the, the daughter going uh, you know after you know wanting to have adventure and she's trying to go you know go after I can't remember exactly what she's going after but she puts on you know men's clothes and basically cuts her hair and then of course goes to the Nottingham Fair or whatever you call it and ends up shooting for it and I liked that part that was a really cool part about the movie was you know. Having her do what Robin had um, did originally, um, and that is to shoot really well and you know be a good actor, and it was really good. But overall, I'd say it was a very good movie. It had some good good ideas in it. It was very interesting. Um, it did remind me a little bit of Princess Bride because of the, of the torture chamber thing. Um, because there's, there's there is a scene where they have a torture thing. Although, I noticed there was a there, there was a jump cut in the movie that I was very caught off guard by, um, and that was like right before like the, the just before we see um, the you know, torture scene for Robin Hood, we see a jump cut, and it's like you see the you listen you see the while you're watching this scene, and suddenly the, the the movie goes the movie the song cuts out, and then you go to the next scene, like what? So that wasn't like I was confused. I was like kind of caught off guard by it. But overall, I'd say it was not a bad um, idea. Um, although I, I'm curious to know why it was so short because it could have gone long. It could have had a little a better, a little more of a, of a story to it. Um, but still, it was good. I, I think I think the real story, the real like theme about this movie, in terms of the story, was you know connection family because the whole point of the movie is that Gwen who's the daughter of Robin Hood and I've worried enough Ma um, Marion isn't even in the movie like I think I think her voice is in the movie like I think she narrates the movie but I don't think she's not even in the movie like I looked at the credits and apparently Marion was the was voicing or the, at least an actress who played Marion um, she was actually doing the narration for the movie and it was like where where Marion so I guess I'm guessing she died because that's the only explanation for it, she, that she died. I uh, could be wrong about that, but I think she died. I think the idea is that, that Marion died, and that's how it is. But it's the idea that um, that she hasn't well, she hasn't seen her, her father in five years, and her father won't trust her to go along with him. Like like she wants to to, to you know take a responsibility, go on go on an adventure, and it's it's interesting how how uh, their relationship changes because. Like, the father-daughter relationship is very different. It's a very, very different um, kind of relationship. I, I thought that was um, very interesting. Um, just the way that Robin Hood was portrayed in this in this uh, particular movie, because not in the way I've seen most most versions of Robin Hood portrayed. I mean, very different. Um, I kind of kind of like saying that my my with my uh, with my uh, my King Arthur review for. Um, Number seventy-five, the uh, 
the episode that I did that for. But kind of like how that, but but not exactly. Uh, I remember that is because Robin was portrayed very differently. Uh, not that I'm, not the way I'm used to. I feel like he's supposed to be more, more heroic, but I feel like you know he's kind of he, I feel like he's retired from being a thief, and the, the she, he's kind of carried the mantle, like the mantle of, of thief has has gone down to Gwen because she's now a, because she's obviously a thief and she cares very much about you know about the wrong stuff going on in in the in the world of uh, of Nottingham or England or whatever the, yeah England. I think it's very, it, it, it was interesting because it's, it goes to different locations, which is very cool. Um, like, it labels each location. Like, you have Woods, you have Nottingham, you have um, Tower of London, you have all this stuff. And it was very, it was very interesting, uh, just the way it was, it was shown, different little different locations. And just seeing, I feel like the reason why um, it didn't have... I feel like it didn't have a lot of Robin Hood in it because the role of Robin Hood was was being carried out by Gwen. She was like the new Robin Hood. She was like she was like a, a female Robin Hood. That was the I think that's what's happened. The reason why it was like that is because Gwen carries out the mantle of Robin Hood. She basically becomes the new Robin Hood, like a female version of Robin Hood. Like I mean, obviously she's his daughter, uh, but she carries the mantle of being Robin Hood. And that was that was the interesting part of the, about the movie was um, that exact thing. Um, which I found really interesting because that's not really something I, I you know, I see a lot of movies like this. I, I see movies are, are you know from the original tale. I mean I, I've seen quite a few versions of Robin Hood, but nothing like this. This is a very different one because it's obviously meant to be a form, a sort of sequel story to Robin Hood um, in a way. I mean it is. It's it's it's, it's exactly like that. It's, it's supposed to be a sequel to Robin Hood in a good way. Um, you know it sells out. The, it, it sells the idea of, of the Princess of Thieves, who's you know. She knows exactly how her father was in, in his days, and she kind of does the same thing where she becomes a thief. Um, you know, sees everything wrong about the world, about the about the world that they're in, and everything. You know, it's it's, it's interesting, and you know, fed up, you know, the idea of uh, of her growing from this child, you know, to this this, you know, going going kind of like a, a Mulan sort of thing where she, she you know she she uh, dresses as a boy to, to to blend in so she can. Well, do all, all sorts of interesting things, and her relationship with Frederick is very interesting. It's very different because it's a, it's very special. I mean, it's supposed to indicate that they're like in a brother. This is uh, I was I was kind of hoping that they would eventually become the own. It was just weird because I was I was hype. I was kind of hoping that that um that by the end of the movie that Frederick and uh, and Gwen would would end up together, but it was actually Philip and uh, Gwen, which is very interesting. Although although that doesn't actually happen. They they kind of had, it, it hinted a lot about that. Like they eventually do kiss, and they kind of you know, they admit that they do have they do they, they you know have feelings for her for each other. But it, but at the end of the movie, you don't realize that they're but that uh, they never actually get married. Um, we just show that we just have these these so uh, this character evolution from Gwen, uh, just the daughter of Robin Hood, to this beautiful, um, you know, princess. So just dressed like a, a thief, she's single with a bow. She is. She has the same skill sets as Robin Hood himself. Uh, dressed similar to him, everything like that. I mean, it's a very interesting movie. Just the way it was portrayed. Um, I mean, it is a Disney movie, which is interesting because well, I didn't even see the Disney logo, but in the, but it was still it was it was, it was interesting. I, I I liked it. Um, it had some good stuff in it. Um, I feel like the, the king was was the was the guy who was just very. Very interesting. It was a very interesting character, and that was what I liked about it, and I, I liked it a lot. So, honestly, it was good. I mean, this this is very different because I, I you know, I was looking it up earlier, uh, before this review actually, and I just noticed that it was a TV movie after all. Cause I was, I was, didn't know that. Like, what? Well, like, like I, I was looking up like, oh gosh, it's a TV movie, and I, uh, I realized that I'm like it, it, it doesn't really make sense because it doesn't feel like a TV movie, at all. Um, like some of those movies out there don't really feel like a TV movie, and this one did not feel like it because she because it's it's just the way that the story is told. It doesn't feel like that, and also it just feels like a very different uh, movie. It had a lot of interesting plot points, plot elements to it. Um, like I've said before, a lot of it because uh, you know it's a very different tale, and 
it just it just a very unique idea about you know telling a different story to the Roman tale and like a sequel. I mean, it truly is a sequel. The story itself is a sequel. Um, think about it that way. It's, the story itself, the plot, is a sequel to Robin Hood, like any version of Robin Hood there was. But it is the, the movie itself is not a sequel, just the story, which is very cool. Um, but still, I mean, I think Karen Elliott does a great job at it. She's a great actress. She's great. She's just she's gorgeous, and she's a good, she does a, a very good job in other movies like Pirates of the Caribbean, which is the only really thing I, I know her from. Um, she's in a lot of other movies too, but but this is one I really um, know from. But in this movie, she was a good, she did a good job too, because she just you know, she was brave and she took you know a stand to to the how um, being who she was, who she is, you know. She did, she wasn't a damsel in distress, like because I know it says princess, but she is not. She doesn't act like a damsel in distress at all. That's not the point. The point isn't that she's a damsel in distress. The point is she's just a daughter of Robin Hood and that she takes. She takes her own, um, you know, her own, she, she does things on her own, and, in a mer very Mulan way, where, you know, her father says no, she does, she goes anyway, she, you know, her father's like, no, you, you're not, you cannot do that, I'm not, I, I forbid it. It turns out her father discovers her, and, you know, friends until it's it in her home, like, I can't remember a movie that's been like that, but I do, I definitely know that there's a movie like that. But it's it's like the way that she takes upon herself to do things that, but when when even though her father says no, she still does it anyway, which I find really interesting. But also just the way she does it, and the way it's handled, the way this character of of Gwyn is handled, it's it's very interesting. And yeah, so um, it's not a lot of of uh, things I can say about the movie left. It was overall a very enjoyable movie. I I really liked it. Um, just the way it was it was done. Because I like how it captured, one thing I'll, I'll say about the movie, to tear up this up, is it captured the original tale's elements. Like, some of the elements from, from the original tale was in it. Like, you know, the, the Archer Tournament was in that. It was handled very differently because it's supposed to be a, se a sequel story, but it is um, different in its own way because of the way it's handled. Um, it's very, very um, interesting in, in the fact that we see the Archer Tournament happen because I feel like a, a, a Robin Hood sequel story isn't complete without that. Um, there's a lot of movies that have sequels. It's not complete without that idea. Kind of like with Star Wars, with the whole you know I've got a bad feeling about this. No Star Wars movie is complete without that. You know, just just saying. And kind of like or lightsaber or things like that. But with this with this particular movie, I feel like it wasn't complete without the art without any sort of like you know callback to, to the first story to, to the original. Um, story of it, which is very um, cool because you have the archer thing, and we you know show show always you know we show the, the archer thing, and then what's really interesting is I don't think this is even in the original tale, but um, the very end of the archery uh, scene we have uh, King Richard, pretty sure that's the guy's name. Um, the, sh the yeah the sheriff the sheriff, I think I'm getting my my, my characters wrong. So the sheriff, I think, I think Richard is the guy who gets, who tries to become king at the very end of the movie, but the sheriff is the one who, who takes his stand. He's a very vile character. And at the very end of the archery scene, we see him actually take a stand and shoot his own. And of course, he gets a bullseye, which is, you know, not, not really surprising because he's the freaking sheriff, but, um, it's just the way he does it. Like, he, he decides... I'm tired of this. This is going on way too long. I'm going to end this. In fact, Gwen says, "Oh yeah, he's taking. He he wants to, he wants to get over, this over with. He wants to end it." And we see him do. He, he take a shot and hundred yards away, a target, and he, and he nails it. And then we have Gwen who does the same thing that his father did, where she sticks the target and it splits the arrow, like it usually does, like in the original tale, like the original um, story of the of the of Robin Hood, the arrow splits. So she kind of. Yeah, so exactly in a way that, that the the, um, the original tale does, where um, it kind of carries off to, to the to the, like if the the daughter gets the the kind of skill set that her father did, the skills of of an archer, of a of a professional archer, of a really well um, you know trained archer. She does she knows how to use a bow, even though she doesn't really show. The interesting about that thing about that is that you know I don't know if in the, in the original tale that it ever shows um, you know Robin Hood you know becoming an archer, but in this movie we see. Uh, Gwen just she suddenly knows how to, to how to use a bow, 
suddenly she does snows. No training at all, just suddenly, bam, she knows how to do it. She knows how to how to use a bow and arrow. What is this? I just find it really interesting um, because that's not something that usually happens in movies like this, where you don't you don't you just take a bow and you're like, oh, I'm suddenly I'm really the, I'm suddenly the best at, at using a bow. But in this in, in this particular scene, you just suddenly like, oh yeah, I'm I'm not I'm very sloppy in, in the first you know few minutes of the scene. And then we get to the very end of the scene, and suddenly, she splits the arrow like her father did. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I guess that's all it takes. She just knows how to do it. But hey, it's just the story. You know, it's, it's the way that it was written. I just found that, that little, little interesting about, not silly, just like, mm, weird, um, that it would be, like, written that way. But yeah, no, I, overall, I, I really like this movie. It was, it was, it was good. Um, short. Which is good, you know. I don't like long movies that, that bore me. This was this is good. It had some interesting characters. The best part about this movie was the plot. the The story that was that was being is being told here is very interesting and very different because I don't think this ever happened in a movie, an original movie before. I don't I don't think there's any ever been any uh, any you know classic fantasy tale like Robin Hood where it gets, it gets a sequel story, not a sequel movie, just a sequel story. About a like about her daughter, about a, the daughter of a of a character in popular folklore, and that's the interesting part about this movie. Um, although I st I will say, I still think my theory about about Marion dying or already being dead in the movie is clear because it's clear that that's the thing because Marion's voice and Marion's voice is heard in the narration. I didn't even know that. I'm I'm like, who is this talking? And I and I was other question like. Oh, it's Marion. It's, it's actually Marion doing the, the, the narration of it the entire time, and I did not know that. Um, so, I don't know what happened to Marion in the, in the in the in the movie. I'm guessing that she died because she's not she's not even in she's not even you know mentioned at all, like zero zilch. The only the only mention, the way, only the only way to find out in, 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 where she is is the fact in the credits like oh she's the narrator and maybe she died. That is the only explanation to where she's gone. Is she died. I don't know, but. But what else there? There's not really, you know, there's not really any other theory to it. There's not really any answer. I don't, I don't really know. But it's still a good story. Um, and it was still very interesting about the way they handled the plot. Um, you know, the characters, you know, going, ma making it good to the original stories, but also making making it a true, a true sequel story in that way. Um, you know, having an expanded story upon Robin Hood. Like a what if scenario, because we never really got a, a more of a story to Robin Hood, like what what adventures he took on after he got married, kind of thing. It's like, oh, well, the answer is he had a daughter, and that happened. So you know, I'll say that, that I did not like about the movie was was the fact that where is Marion? Where is she? Like it doesn't explain it at all. Um, I mean, it, 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 I think it's pretty obvious that she's no longer living, but I would have liked them to actually have explained that. Like maybe Robin would have. Told her that Marianne passing away or something because I did not see that. I did not catch that at all. Um, it, may, it may have been in childbirth. Who knows? I have no idea. But anyway, I will give this movie a um, seven out of ten. A very, a very cool story. Um, there was, overall, it was a very very cool story, and I liked it. I liked what was being told. And that does it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to become a spy. You can click here to go to last week's episode where I reviewed um, Three Musketeers, the 1993 version, and you can click here to go to the previous episode where I reviewed the movie uh, Tangled. So yeah, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week for another episode. All right, see ya.